Hi everybody, Marcel here from Tiger Auto. Today we're demonstrating the installation of our Adventure Tube Door Series on a Jeep Gladiator. Tiger's tube doors are made from carbon steel and feature welded hinges for precision fit. They're coated with a rugged powder coated finish and are compatible with your side mirrors. Also, these doors are compatible with the Jeep Wrangler JL Series. So if you're a JL owner, please follow along to this video as well. That being said, let's get right into the installation. First off, make sure you go over the installation manual and confirm that all the parts are accounted for. Also, you'll be required to have your own waterproof grease to apply on the hinges during this installation. Start with the passenger side front door. Fully roll down the window and remove the screws from the hinges while keeping the door hinged for now. Then carefully open the door and remove the outer mirror assembly. If your vehicle is equipped with power mirrors, be sure to disconnect the wiring harness from the door. Be sure to also hang on to the three bolts as they'll be reused later. If your vehicle is equipped with powered mirrors or windows, go ahead and unplug the wiring harness connecting the door to the footwell. Also release the door's limit strap from the mounting bracket. Careful that the door should be held in place by someone when that happens. After that, we're now ready to detach the factory door. Do so by reaching through the open window and lift the door straight up out of the hinge. Now we start prepping for the tube door installation. Begin by attaching the rubber bumpers to the inside of the passenger front door. Next, install the flat mounting bracket to the door. Then take the passenger side latch assembly and attach it to the bracket. Before installing the door, apply a thin coat of waterproof grease to the hinge pins on the door. Now grab the door, hold it in place over the hinges, and guide the pins down onto the hinges. Then secure each pin with the appropriate hardware without tightening the lock nuts at this time. Go ahead and latch the limit strap to the bracket on the vehicle. Slowly swing open the door and close it a few times to spread the grease throughout the hinge and wipe off any excess. Now let's go back to the door bumpers we installed earlier. Use the provided washers as buffers to adjust the spacing between the door and the vehicle to obtain the optimal latch against the striker. Once you're happy with the fit, tighten the lock nut and hinge until there's a slight resistance to the door operation. Do not fully tighten the lock nut at this time. Next, adjust the horizontal alignment for the latch against the striker by using the two included hole spacers to pad up as needed and then tighten all the hardware. Now install the mirror mount and mounting plate by reusing the three bolts from earlier to complete the front door installation. Let's quickly show you the rear door installation which is very similar to the front door installation. Repeat the steps we've just shown you for the driver's side doors, and now you're ready for your next adventure. 